Welcome to The Joy of Music, featuring Diane Bish, today bringing you a special presentation from the Great Church of Breda, Holland. And now, Diane Bish. In the south of Holland, not far from the Belgian border, stands the unique city of Breda, Holland. In the center of the city, a tower rises above the countryside, which can be seen for many miles. It is the Tower of the Grotekerk in Breda. As we enter the church, we are impressed by the warmth and beauty of the interior. At one end of the church stands the sparkling organ, with its magnificent blue facade and gold statues, a wonderful instrument to praise the Lord. Oh, praise ye the Lord. Praise him with the organ. Praise him in his sanctuary. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. in Spanish cathedrals, there were many times two organs. And for these cathedrals, Antonio Soler, who lived in the 1700s, wrote compositions for two organs and two organists. However, today, on the great organ of Breda, Holland, I'm going to be playing one of these compositions, the Concerto in G Major, as arranged for one organ. I will bounce back and forth between the keyboards as if there were actually two organs and two organists playing.
days of Haydn, Mozart, and Beethoven, there were tiny little musical flute clocks which played compositions on the hour and the half hour as written for them by the greatest composers of that day. On the organ here in Breda, Holland, there are many exquisite flutes, and I would like to play three of these little flute clocks as written by Joseph Haydn for a famous clock in Vienna in 1792. In these compositions, I will be using the tiny four-foot flute, the eight, four, and two, and the eight-foot flutes. As we study the life of the famous composer Felix Mendelssohn, we find that he was a true believer in God, and many of his compositions were inspired by scripture and by chorales or hymns of that day. His great Reformation symphony was inspired by a mighty fortress is our God, and his organ sonatas were influenced by the chorales and by scripture. I would like to play the last movement of his Sonata Number no. 1, God's Will Be Done All Way. In this movement, it is powerful and majestic as it uses all of the resources of this great organ in Breda, Holland. It is as if Mendelssohn was making his own statement of faith.
Making a recording in such a great church as the Chrodekerk in Breda is not always the easiest thing. There are the bells of the tower which ring every quarter hour, and the music must come to a stop. There is a street and a marketplace surrounding the church. There are motorcycles, buses, cars, and people shouting at one another outside the far doors of the church. And even it is difficult to find a place for a cameraman to stand. The organ loft is very small, and one of the cameramen had to be high up on the wall of the church, squeezed between two pillars. But still, it is a magnificent place to make music of praise to God.
Today, the joy of music has come to you from the Hrodekerk of Breda, Holland. You have heard the magnificent organ, an instrument which has brought music of praise to thousands of people over hundreds of years. We pray that you have been blessed and inspired by the music today. Thank you so much for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music. Thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music. Diane Bish and The Joy of Music wish to thank Lufthansa German Airlines for their support in helping to make this program possible.